what you see going on right now is what we see each and every time with Hammers and Angels. Just a full court press the last last few hours. I mean, there's probably 50 people in there just going like a crazy mad ant farm, right? So as you can tell, new landscaping, new concrete, all right? Alex, now she was the, on the receiving end of Hammers and Angels five years ago. Five years ago. Five years, man, so we changed her place completely up similar to this we gave them new concrete we gave them a little bit more of a an approach to their uh, front porch if you recall all of this was sagging all of it was making water to go back towards the foundation of the home this is our hammers and angels representation we do this each and every year i say we but it's really one guy this dude right here paul all right so again new driveway new landscape new topsoil still working the gravel on that end all right over here new concrete Guys are throwing in TVs, all this stuff. New paint, new soffits, new roof, new windows, new trim, new steps, new doors, new flooring. Right? And again, we've got about 30 minutes before they show up so you can see how mad it is right now. So they're putting the final patch on this side. What he did was create a Hammers and Angels logo in the actual wall patch. You'll see it right here. So when he flips this around, right, you can see we all signed the back of it. So you flip it over on this side to reveal the Hammers and Angels logo right here. So really, really cool. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Let's check it out. Right? So that's going to be in the actual drywall when it gets hung up up there. Now, look, that being said, right, still got an island kitchen. There used to be a wall right here. Right and behind that wall was where the refrigerator was. So the entrance to the basement used to be right here, somewhere where the refrigerator is right now. So we decked that off and moved the fridge back here in just a second, created a new staircase down here and the entrance into the basement. I'll show you that in just a second. But I the kitchen, right? Kitchen cabinets, right? Sink over here, stove's going here, dishwasher here, new microwave, all the kitchen cabinets, granite, right on both ends. We're really gonna open up this room. They have seating along this side, seating along that side, which obviously allows them you know, the freedom of having an open floor space, having a real living room. All new LVT flooring. So this is all just busted up. And here, the pink tub, the studs were so rotted, we had to tear out the studs, create a new wall back there, right? New bathtub, new shower, new toilet, new vanity, new sink, pretty new bride. Um, my whips here, uh, new tile work, all right? Here's one of the bedrooms for one of the, one of the twins. You see we have a whole bunch of people helping the assembly here. So twin size bed, new furniture, all right? Again, new vinyl windows, new wall, new texture. Right here's the. Sorry, guys. Right here on the main. Now, perfect. Right, this is the main bedroom. So remember, they had a wall up here. She tore it down. We kind of put it back up. Uh, they created, you know, the division that gives her the, the ability to have both her twins side by side. Right, and her main room right here. Hell of a job, Brett. Yeah, buddy. So Brett was on this morning. He was like, "Man, we got so much time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be easy street." And here we are. <laughs> it's always 20, easy 30 street. minutes, man. We're hurrying, oh, hustling. Oh, it's crazy. More volunteers. We're there. Yes. <laughs> All right. So her closet here, main right. bedroom here. Gotta go to work. Yeah, gotta go to work. Right. And then on this side, the other twin bedroom. Okay. So both the twins. Have their own rooms. Again, all new vinyl windows, new flooring, new walls, new closet, all new furniture, which is really incredible. All new flooring throughout. And that's just the upstairs. So, Mikey's up right now setting the last final piece right they got a frame that they're gonna put around it kind of right we're going to not go up let's show what we did out here all right so out here you remember it's kind of a mess they had that riggedy old shed we got a new one right we created a fence back here from the fence here we got a gate here oh, the carport area right we just got the hammers and angels drywall up 
right? So here, yeah, we got a whole new panel, right? All this is brand new, brand new panel. All courtesy of Bar Electric. Again, all this is donated, it's all given, it's all for free. Okay, this used to be the exit out of the house. There were steps right here. So what they did, blew that out. Again, paint the whole house, you see the color paint, new vinyl windows, <coughs> new panel. The door was moved over this side, new steps, new ingress windows, AC unit going in right here, more gravel work over there. So again, man, it is down to the wire. Dude's finished it up, putting weed barrier here. Throwing in the gravel, they'll put a shelf over on there. New landscaping all throughout. The shed back here. A boys, the bar electric, get it done. Woo! Okay, so down here, right? Again, all new steps, new carpet. This becomes the formal living space. It's pretty incredible. Recess lights, right? So it makes it a little taller. This is the client's room. Washer, dryer, fridge, stores back here. What's that cool? Boom! That scares you. <laughs> um, so yeah, man, it's kind of cool. It goes right around the steps. New furnace, new AC in it. Hot water heater, sink. Right, pretty damn good. A uh, you know appliance slash laundry room. Is the um, water down here? Oh, oh, this way, yeah, it's running. All right, again, formal living room. This is the bathroom. If you remember, right? So here was a little shower, right? And over here was some nasty little shelves. So now they have a full shower, all new tile. Really cool how Sam Kander Construction laid this in. Again, closet back here for storage. Really great looking tile, new vanity, toilet, you know, new sink. All right, so this is the teenager's room. All right, apparently one of them is really into Batman. However, check this out, egress windows, right? So this allows them to escape in case there's a fire on that end. So we still have to put a, a little door here for the shut off, right? But what a cool little room. I have a space that wasn't even here before. And if you recall, this room was trash. It had wood and crap laying all over it. New egress window, right? This is all new. This is it's amazing. Wow. I mean, to think about what this room was like six, seven days ago, it's, it's, it's crazy to think this has happened all for free, all the kindness of their hearts, and all within a week, man. Forget buttoning up everything. This is the formal living space. But man, for a home that's 43 feet by 20 feet, what a house, right? Five bedrooms at this little place. And again, we got like 10 minutes. All that. Oh, this is going. Ready? I'll bring it. Down to the wire, man. Every time. Wow. Nice clear on the first. You're good, you're good. So, add on top of it, you know, everything that's been done, all these guys and, you know, workers and just crew, right? I mean, from landscaping to the roof, to the paint, to the concrete. Everybody's sweeping here at the end. And we got like 10, 15 minutes before the reveal. It's been an amazing effort. By, I mean, look at the list of people. Right? There are 128 different volunteers, right? Here's us, kind of the lead crew. My man, Brett, you know, me, you know, and all these guys, right? Everybody jumped in here, has been here all this time. You know, all these guys from CQL, you know, Brett's company, you know, and just all these great people, man, all chipped in, all helped out the hours, you know, just the manpower, you know, and all the added up hours, you're looking at over a thousand hours, all within a week, you know, there's people that spent 12, 14 hours a day here every single day, you know, so all of that accrued, all that tacked on and added up, it's amazing, but they flipped this entire home in seven and a half days, they made this into a, you know, a property you could be really proud of in a week. It's mind blowing the effort, man. And it truly is amazing. All these people, what do they have in common? What do all these 128 people have in common? BPI family. It's awesome.